Come on in. Define love. This mathematical art is an example of what I call chaos equations. Not just an inconvenience, the Congress is part of the process. Ideas from conceptual art into the very heart of politics. I voted for Donald Trump. I voted for Trump because I thought he'd create a better America for everyone. And then they said, you know, he's killed reporters. And I don't like that. I'm totally against that. I, by the way, I hate some of these people, but I'd never kill them. I hate them. No, I think... Locusts. Their reputation for destruction is so epic. Moolah. Cash. Dollars. Dough. No, these people, honestly, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I would never kill them. It was a complete mystery. They just seemed to come out of nowhere, decimate everything, and vanish. One in three Americans thinks more about money than any other topic on a given day. And I hope we have a new president who respects what the office is supposed to be about, who follows the constitutional rule of law, and who understands that Congress is not just an inconvenience. Exifying faster and faster. Define obsession. An unhealthy dependency. I would never kill him. But I do hate them, and I, I, some of them are such lying, disgusting people. It's true. It's true. It's true. I realize now just how much I've been duped. Ah, uh, let's see. No, I wouldn't. It's all about the Benjamins. What does he think is going to happen? He's causing, he, he's sending out the same message that he can do whatever he wants. This is his country. How does the docile grasshopper turn into a swarming, ravenous locust? Any guy that can do a body slam, he's my kind. Of... It was a successful mission. Every probe deployed where it needed to be. The only problem? Four of those satellites didn't have permission to fly. The company that made them went rogue. And it's unclear how the U.S. government is going to handle the situation. Or how you feel about it. My goodness. I mean, does the president not have any respect for the process? Uh, first, my colleague from Vermont had asked you uh, some, several questions about AMI, the parent, the parent company of the National Enquirer. And uh, in that, you mentioned a treasure trove, a quote, treasure trove of documents. Say the person who knows the whereabouts of these documents would be David Pecker. David Pecker, Barry Levine, or um, Dylan Howard. Okay, thank you. When the reality is, you aren't who you are all the time. You have a, a vocabulary of the self a range of people who you become. I think it would be a terrible idea. So I'm hoping that uh, we don't go down that road. I'm disappointed. And I can only warn people, the more people that follow Mr. Trump, as I did blindly, are going to suffer the same consequences that I'm suffering. Anything is possible. Is it like total internal reflection? Yes, pretty much. Wow, that's interesting. I hadn't thought of it that way. We are together.